Okay, boys and girls, this is Boonjamin Bok Choi. Welcome back to our F1 Manager 23, 2023 playthrough. We just finished Baku, a really, really splendid race at Baku. So if you missed that, go back and take a look at that race. We are now starting um, a new ATR period, so we have some things to take care of. And we are about to do the Miami Grand Prix weekend, round five only. And we've already gone through two sets of engine and gearboxes and ERS components. So we're going to be spending a bunch of money on those towards the end of the year and taking some grid penalties but for now let's not worry about that we'll take a look at this oh let's look at the car inspection results so we need a new suspension for car number two which is good that we just manufactured uh one in the last episode port confidence check-in we have high confidence they showed up for the uh azerbaijan grand prix so we performed well so luckily for us we got high confidence driver development update Leclerc up one and uh, Giovinazzi up one as well so Leclerc is continuing to improve I think his cornering went up as one as well no 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 that was Giovinazzi I forget which other stat went up in the last episode but this is the second race weekend in a row that um, Leclerc has gotten another uh, rating boost which should help us out yeah he's still trailing Hamilton by a little bit but I think there's Pretty, pretty equal anyway so what are we looking at now we have to install a replacement there let's go ahead and manufacture a new suspension um, yeah eight days left Miami Grand Prix in four days uh, you know what let's wait until we go through our uh, ATR period design and uh, research Diego Tondi, yes, all right, so we have 4.5 MAU hours and 60 wind tunnel hours. So let's go ahead and take a look at the car analysis where we sit. Okay, so it looks like we've improved in certain um, aspects here. We still need to work on our high speed. Maybe we'll focus on that. We'll focus on medium and high speed and then maybe the extra weight. So. Uh, I will take care of this off screen and I will see you when we are done. Okay, so we went to, with the chassis and a new front wing and I just lowered the dur durability a little bit on these two guys to uh, one, make our extra weight a little bit less in um, two, oh, actually that's pretty much it. So it makes our, uh, our weight a little bit less and it also bumps up the um, characteristics of the other uh, upgrade components here so it should help us with our um, high speed high speed downforce and uh, should save us a little bit of extra weight we're going to be sacrificing the durability of these parts though so they won't be lasting you know one or two uh, extra races compared to the components that we have on right now um, but since we have so few engineers and so few uh, wind tunnel and MAU hours anyway I just went ahead and decided to focus on two parts for now and uh, hopefully that will be enough as it looks like the car isn't too bad at the moment anyway. So hopefully the high speed will go up a little bit and the acceleration should go up with the total extra weight going down. So uh, everything was improved a little bit. But then again, you know, it will depend on what other teams are doing as well. So um, that is pretty much it for now. Let's go ahead and take a look at this um, training schedule for our pit crew. Yeah, we're going to want some rest days before these races so that they're nice and rested and that their chance of mistake is low. Although chance of mistake plus 18.813. Maybe we give them one extra rest day here. Rest. Rest. Yeah, we'll give them a rest day here so they're not doing like eight days of training in a row. Um, so that looks good. Estimated pit stop time plus minus zero. Um, chance mistake is down, which is good. Yeah, their fatigue isn't that high right now. So, okay, we'll go. We'll do that. And we are looking good. I don't believe there's anything else we need to take a look at for now. But I'm sure... My guys will tell us once the race weekend starts. So let's go. Race prep. That's it. 
performance targets. Let's see, reach Q3, we can definitely do that. Edit this, qualifying position P4, I think we can do that. Reach Q2, we can definitely do that. Fastest lap, sure, why not? I like to take a uh, gamble every once in a while. Finish position streak, number of drivers one in the top six. I think we can do that too. Qualifying position streak, two races in a row with both drivers. I think we can do that as well. Okay, so let's go compare our card to the rest of the grid. The Red Bull here. Yeah, they've dropped a little bit now. I think they're still probably the f second best team on the grid. Uh, Aston Martin, clearly the best team on the grid. Although they do have a lot of low um, ranks here. 14th in acceleration, 14th in extra weight. <laughs> they're better than us, though. Um and 13th in brake cooling okay uh who would be the next one mercedes mercedes looking like yeah you know what they're better than us in certain things but then they're really low on others so it looks like it's going to be a pretty well mixed up grid here even alpine looking somewhat feisty with their first in the high speed corners as well we're 10th now in high-speed cornering, so everybody must have put on some new components. Dang. All right. <laughs> I don't think this race is going to go as well as Azerbaijan, but nothing to do but to take <sighs> take the race we can start, and we'll see what we can do. All right. I'll take care of practice, guys. I'll see you guys for the start of Quali. All right, boys and girls, we're done with FP3, and look at this, 100% setup satisfaction for both of our guys, 100% car parts knowledge, 100% track acclimatization with Leclerc, 94 with Hamilton, and we have pretty decent driver preparation in starting confidence, so we're looking good so far. Going into qualifying for the Miami Grand Prix, and we'll have to replace these components. What's interesting though, and I'll show you in a second, as soon as we're done here, I guess we're gonna have to keep this gearbox. Um, the car setup is pretty much exactly the same. 6.5, 13, 5.5, 46, 3.5, zero. Pretty much exactly the same. Now, <laughs> in the last free practice session, I was at like this and we were at like 95% and I was like, this looks oddly familiar. And I went to Leclerc's setup and I noticed that it was pretty much, the first three were exactly the same and then the bottom two were just off by one click to the left and right. So I just did that with Hamilton and we came out with 100% setup confidence. So sometimes it works out that way. Um, and then others, other times they both have different setups that they need. So uh, we're looking good. The only thing that's damaged here or not damaged, but um, not really great is Leclerc's gearbox. It's a little bit too early now. I think I want to wait until at least it's a little closer to 50% before we put in a new gearbox there. Um, and unfortunate that he destroyed that, but everything else looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and start the um, qualifying. I think, yeah, we only have three new sets because I saved a, uh, a new set of mediums. So we'll have two sets of mediums for qualifying in the race. I wasn't quite sure what the strategy was gonna be like at Miami, so I wanted an extra set of mediums. I think we can get through Q1 on one set of softs, and then Q2, we can probably use that same scrub set of softs to get into Q3. Um, so then we can still save two brand new sets of softs for the race, but we'll have to see how it goes. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I love the new overworld maps for these tracks here. You actually have some color, the blue for the fake water at the Miami Grand Prix, and then the green for the uh, the grass sections here. It looks a lot better than last year, where I think last year was pretty much just, I think it was mostly just black and white and gray, um, no matter what track you were at. Let's take a look at the weather. I don't think it's going to be raining. We'll be dry all wit all day, at least, uh, for this qualifying session anyway. So we'll wait until about the 10-minute mark, and then we'll send our guys out. There'll be less traffic on grid. The grip in rubber will be high, so we'll be looking okay. Yeah, we'll send them out right now, I think. Uh, we do have some slow traffic with us, but I think they're on their cooldown laps right now anyway. Well, other than Hulkenberg anyway. 
Verstappen and Sainz, I think, will peel off into the pit box. And then we should have a clean track. Well, Hulkenberg. Please get out of the way, Hulkenberg. I think he slowed Hamilton down a little bit. The moment we are P1. P1 and P2. Okay, Hamilton actually on provisional pole right now. So we're good. I don't think these guys are going to find a second and a half. <laughs> Will Verstappen even get us or Alonso get us? Nope. All right. So we keep P1, P2. Actually, do there, um, are there parts? Oh, crap. Let's see if they actually put new parts on their cars or not. All right, so we looked good. Let's just go ahead and put those scrub sets back on there. I think this sh one run on these softs should still get us through anyway. Hamilton with plus threes and plus fours. Leclerc with one extra plus four. So our stats are looking very good. Confidence is looking very good going into this race. Let's go and manage Q2. We'll pause real quick. I just want to take a look and see if they change their components or not. Oh, nope. We need a lap. Uh, we need them to run a lap before we get that information. So let's just go ahead. We are on the old softs? Okay, we are on the old softs. We'll wait until the 10 minute mark. Is Verstappen going to come out? Oh, Verstappen is out. Let's go and take a look at Verstappen's components now. Still got the old engine. He's got a new gearbox, and he's still got the old ERS. So it looks like we should still have the pace on these guys. Here comes Russell. Nah, I want a little bit of space between us. We'll send Hamilton out first. Uh, Hamilton's behind Perez. Let's hope it doesn't slow us down too much. I think Leclerc is a little too far back to get a slipstream. All right, come on, let's get out on one set of softs, at least this set of softs. No point in looking at the sector times. We haven't set a lap yet anyway. It does look like we're catching up to Perez on the straights. P1. And P2, all right. So only seven thousandths of a second um, splitting Hamilton and Leclerc. Everybody else is almost a half second behind. Impossible, as my Canadian friends to the north would say. All right, we're going to stay in here. I don't think Ocon's going to get 1.4 seconds. Oh, can Albin get out? Can we go on board with Albin? What's his sector times? Oh, yellow sector one. I don't think he's getting out of Q2 here. Come on, Alex. Come on, Alex. Oh, green sector two. How much does he need? He needs three tenths. I don't think it's going to happen. Well, I mean, this is a sector three is pretty much just that straight. Can Alex get out? Oh, oh my god. Alex, good job, buddy. I was pulling for you the entire time there. Alex, no! Damn you. Damn you. Okay, well, Alex almost made it into Q3. Oh, he just got knocked out. I didn't see who knocked him out there right at the end, but Alex almost 1.2 tenths. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Well, Lewis Hamilton, Charles Leclerc sitting atop uh, qualifying, or Q2. We're good. Continue. Now we do have three brand new stops. Maybe we'll go out on the scrub sets again. You know, it's been bringing us good luck. And then we'll do our final run on the brand new stops. So it gives two new sets of stops, two new sets of mediums and a brand new set of hards for the race. So give us a lot of uh, options to play with in the uh, the actual race. So here, we'll wait. Actually, you know what? We're the fastest guys on grid anyway, but maybe we'll wait for Verstappen to come out because we are on the old sets. 
and maybe he can drag us along kind of like Perez did in the last race. We're going to wait for Verstappen. Although I think Perez actually was faster than... Yeah, Perez was faster than Verstappen. We'll wait for Alonso to come out then. Alonso seemed to be the second fastest guy. Or third fastest guy. There we go. Alonso and then Hamilton. Although his pit box is a lot further ahead than ours. So we're not going to be close here. And we got slowed down by Ocon coming through. Still a P1. P1 and P5. Alright, so Leclerc must have made a mistake there, right? Why is he so far down? We need to get our guys into the pit box and then onto the new tires. Okay. New softs. New softs. We've got four minutes left, but maybe we will come out with Perez. For some reason, Perez is faster than Verstappen. There goes Verstappen. That's signs. We're waiting for... Oh, Perez is already on track. I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. Okay, we'll wait for Alonso. There's Stroll. There's Russell. There goes Alonso. I think we're too far back. Okay, come on. Green and purple sectors. Well, if Hamilton doesn't, I'm I'm cool with that. Hamilton's already got the fastest lap anyway. Verstappen's gonna Verstappen's gonna slow us down. Purple and green. Okay. You're good. All right, yellow sector for Hamilton. My wife is feeding the kitties in the background, if you're wondering what all that noise is. But let's see if we can still get P1, P2. All right. Only Verstappen. Nope, Verstappen's taking the checkered flag as well. All right, so another good qualifying for us here. P1 and P2, although Verstappen is a lot closer than I was hoping for there. But we should still be all right. All right, so starting out on the front row of the grid once again let's see what it says here soft medium softs the one stop is slower the one stop is slower but only by five seconds hmm that doesn't really leave too much room for error here we do have brand new softs what if we go soft hard soft Oh boy. Okay, I mean, we could start on the mediums and then just follow what everybody else is doing. So I feel like... Hmm. The only thing I'm thinking of is if we do do a two-stop here, we'd have to be really, really quick and... I mean, we could do that. We have to. We're gonna run into a lot of back marker traffic. Should we split the strategy? Yeah, maybe we'll split the strategy. I'll have Leclerc go on mediums, and if everybody else is doing a two-stop, we'll do a two-stop as well. Uh, I'll have Hamilton start on the softs, and then maybe, or maybe start on the the hards. Uh, this is hard. I don't think the softs really lasted that long in qualifying. Six laps and they were already down to like 80%, right? Let's take a look. Yeah, this is the set that we did three runs on. Er, three runs on? Three runs on, and we were already down at 74%. 34, 25. Yeah, that's about nine laps. So, 
nine laps and they were already down to 74 percent maybe we're better off starting on the mediums and then we'll make our decision from there um i do like having a little bit more fuel in my car well that's going to slow us down so let's try that we'll do this this and this i mean luckily we are starting at the front of the grid so if we do make mistakes at least we'll still be up front okay and uh, we can recover from that. So let's just do that for now. Let's go. What are we at? Plus three, plus fours, plus three, plus fours. Okay. Cross your fingers. Let's hope nobody's on the softs. I didn't even check the weather. Let's hope it's not raining. Uh, ooh, a lot of people starting on softs. That means they're going two stops. Let me just take a look here. Yeah, I think a lot of people are doing two stops here because even if they go soft to hards, that's not going to last. Okay. That's fine with me. We'll commit to a two stop early on then. Okay, so we made it out of turn one. Verstappen's lost at position to Alonso. I don't know how the how good that is for us. It seems like Alonso has been the faster of those two the last couple of race weekends. Yeah, they're still managing to sit just right behind us. The good thing though is that we are pushing on battery and um, we're still near 100%. Coming down the back straight now. We're going to lose a lot of battery down this straight here. And it takes a while to harvest, so that's always good too. All right. We'll go neutral for now. Neutral. Still pushing on tires and fuel. Can we go attack? Oh, I didn't even realize Leclerc was out in front. Can we drop Alonso? Verstappen's starting to fall back now. Actually, let's pause a second here and let's take a look at... Uh, Alonzo's components. So old engine, new gearbox, old ERS. Although I think ours, yeah. So Hamilton's got the best components out of everybody. Continue. So Alonzo's still hanging on there. DRS will be enabled momentarily. Verstappen right on the border of dropping out of DRS, which will negatively affect him and Perez behind him. So it looks like we'll have Alonso with us for the bulk of the beginning of this race here. We'll drop it back down to aggressive. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna be it looks like everybody's gonna be doing a two stop. Everybody's pushing just way too hard on these tires. Even the mediums, if we just go standard the entire uh, the entirety of this stint, it's going to barely get us to the hards, which will barely get us to the end. So I think we can push a little bit now. We still have battery. Let's see. Alonso, did you save enough battery through those first few laps to stick with us? We'll see. All right, let's go 8x now. See if Alonso can stick with us. I really like the Miami overworld map here. All right, Alonso's now two and a half seconds behind. Verstappen, another two seconds behind him. Let's go easy on these tires and the fuel. We'll save a little bit towards the end. Hamilton's in P2, so we'll have Hamilton topping off. Actually, you know what? We'll have Leclerc continue to push on with these tires. What do their tires look like? 75%. Okay. We'll keep pushing. Yeah, look at this. The Red Bulls are just so slow now. Even Perez ahead of Verstappen. Hamilton topping up. He's falling out of DRS. Let's have Leclerc top off too. Oh, that's why. Leclerc is pushing on fuel. All right, will this help Ver Hamilton get back in? It does. So 
so now that we know we're going medium soft softs I think we're okay where is Alonzo five seconds behind they're at 65 percent I assume they've stopped pushing on these tires now all right, we have to make sure we pay attention to when these guys pit in so we'll know how long these uh, soft tires will last. Big hash there. Ooh, not us, Watch that's good. Turn two. Turn two. Of course, of course it's the Alpines, Ocon and Gasly, even in the video games you guys can't get along. Ouch. That was your teammate. Um. Where the hell are they? So it looks like, yep. I mean, they're way too far back to really matter anyway. All right, we'll go 8x again here. Gasly with a five second penalty. Yeah, look how far the Red Bulls are behind us. They are nine, 10 seconds behind. We're both topping up and we're still being able to pull away from Alonso who's on the softs. I don't want to push too hard. I just want to make sure that these mediums get to a, a decent um, spot of the in the race, and then we can split the last stint in half. Can Alonso get these softs? And I'm assuming that Alonso's on old softs too. He didn't start on the brand new softs, so they can go at least. Looks like we can probably get to at least 20 laps each. Oh, we'll wait until Alonzo pits. Okay, these guys are all pitting. What are they coming out on? Soft, softs. Um, take a look real quick. Um, Sergeant, I think, pitted, right? Nope, we don't have any pit info yet. Okay, maybe now we do. Let's go to Sergeant. Still not yet. Okay. Sergeant started on the softs, and now he's on the softs again. Okay, so yeah, everybody's doing a two stopper here. Let's see, Alonzo, where are you on track? 18 laps. Is he coming in now? Nope, not yet. Our battery looks good. Gasly with the fastest lap. Signs pit stop issue. Okay, people are starting to pit now. We still have Alonzo and Perez behind us. They haven't come in. Are they really trying to stretch it for a one stop? When were we supposed to come in? Lap 27. Lap 27, meaning 13 laps left to go. And then we'll have two stints on the sauce. 15 laps each. We can just push like crazy. Or do we want to continue on here? Try to make it onto the hards. I think we got to... I think we gotta make our move now. 20 to. That'll be 36 laps. 18 laps. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's kill these tires. Alonzo coming in. Alonzo is in. Okay, then we will have. Yes. Yeah, it is lap 22, so that means 35, 36 laps left to go. We'll have them run 18 laps. 18 laps will get us to um, lap f 18 is lap 40, and then we will have them come in. So Leclerc coming in on this lap now. Hamilton will come in on the next lap. Hopefully, okay, there we go. Onto the softs.
All right, we're still out ahead of Verstappen Alonso. What did they switch on to? They went on to the Verstappen onto the soft. Alonso onto the hards. He's going to try to make a two stop work here. Perez is on the soft, so he's going to do a two stop. Looks like Alonso is going to try and make the one stop work. We're going to have to pull away really, really quickly right now. Okay, start pushing on fuel. What's the time to Alonzo? Eight seconds. Verstappen on the softs. Although his softs are almost dead at this point. Twelve seconds to Alonzo. I think we're still good here. Alonzo's gonna get eaten up by Perez, which should slow him down. Stroll will be right behind him too, on the medium, so he'll be faster than Alonzo. I mean, Alonzo should be able to make these. Uh, I don't know about that though, because we were supposed to get the the mediums to lap twenty. Seven or so 25 27 and then come in yeah I don't know I don't know what his chances are I think he should be able to get them the hards all the way to the end but I don't think they're gonna I don't think he's gonna win the race 13 seconds to the leaders and he's already at 85 percent I mean, he, even if he gets out in front of us when we go into pit the next time, he's still... We're going to be on the faster tires. We're going to be able to catch up to him anyway. All right. We can probably push a little bit more on these tires. Now, what did I say? Lap 40, about lap 40, 41. We'll come in and change on to um, our second set of softs and... Alonzo's at 15 seconds back. The Hamilton's tire management is really, really good. We've been pushing with him for a few laps now, and he's still better than Leclerc's, even though Leclerc did pit one lap before him. Okay, so six more laps to go until we come in. We've already got 16 seconds to Perez. 18 seconds to Alonzo. Can we start pushing now? I think if we go aggressive, we should be alright, right? Yeah, Alonzo's already 20 seconds back. Okay, we're gonna push now onto these softs. I think the Alonzo's the only person we're really worried about now. Perez for a step, and they still have to make one more pit stop. Yeah, those tires aren't making it till the end. Bottas pit stop issue. I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but I think we're looking good here. A couple more laps to go. We're stopping into the pits already, but we already have like a 20 second lead on everybody. All right. Two more laps and then we'll come in. Nope, temperature's a little hot, but that's fine. Okay, we're on lap 40. We'll bring Leclerc in this lap. And then we'll bring Hamilton in the next one. And then we'll try to go for the fastest lap right away in order to secure it. Okay, uh, nope, all right, so Alonzo didn't pass us. Here comes Hamilton right now. Leclerc coming through. Oh, you know what, his tires are still cold, okay. Hamilton out in front now as well.
All right, we'll let Hamilton or we'll let Leclerc try and get a fastest lap right now. We'll let Hamilton give it a go next lap. I think we're good. Alonso's tires are pretty much dead at this point. Leclerc running into some traffic there. Okay, we'll give Hamilton a go. Top up with him just in case. Just in case there's a safety car or something like that. We want to make sure we have decent battery at the end here. Hamilton working his way through. Hamilton stole the fastest lap. It's kind of what I wanted to see. Uh, we'll just top up here. I don't know if Hamilton's going to have enough juice here to catch up to Leclerc, though. Three seconds off. I mean, this will be good for us. Verstappen's all the way down in P5. Hamilton, if he finishes in P2, we save ourselves $400,000. And he still gets to pull away from Verstappen in the driver's championship anyway so maybe we want leclerc to finish p1 because again as long as leclerc finishes in the top six or top seven he's getting that bonus anyway so this way we get a ferrari one two and we save ourselves two hundred thousand dollars over the weekend or four hundred thousand dollars i should say alonzo is 15 seconds back perez is 28 seconds back holy cow and Verstappen all the way down in P6 with 33 seconds back. Alex Albin only a couple of seconds away from uh, a points finishing position here. Don't know if he's going to have it. He's only got six seconds left to go. I mean, six laps left to go. Where is Alex? No, he's not going to make it. He's got to get past the Alpines, and the Alpines are ahead of uh, both of our guys there. Okay, battery is good. I, I don't understand what's going on here. It's got to be the components in the car. I think the moment Red Bull decides to replace the engine in their gearbox and their ERS system, I think we're, we're back down to finishing like P3 and P4. No way in hell. Ooh, look at this. Hamilton. Hamilton's catching up to Leclerc. We'll have another fight for the... Uh, the win here. Uh, you know what? We still got a couple laps to go. Let's go. Let's go 16x here. Two laps to go. Hamilton. Where are we at? All right, guys. Have at it. Both of you guys. Have at it. I'll let you fight till the end here. Full beans on everything. Push on your tires. Well, not attack on the tires, just because I don't want them to crash accidentally. Final lap. Hamilton's within DRS striking range here. They've got plenty of fuel left to go. They have full battery charge, and they still have over 50% of their tire life left. Ooh, Leclerc just dropped him from DRS. Pretty close now. Almost through sector two here. Coming around to the final few corners before the back straight is he going to be close enough doesn't look like hamilton has enough here to make the move still a full 1.4 seconds behind he is catching on the straight they've got the exact same setup in their cars though so if hamilton doesn't have drs he doesn't have a chance here we go leclerc bringing it home for the victory 30 seconds ahead of alonso 30 seconds ahead of Alonzo there. I don't know how we were doing it. Take it back. Yeah, P2. I mean, I suppose it helps to, to have two of the top four drivers. Complete five Grand Prix in one career. Have I not done that? Did I not even do that in my Williams playthrough? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I could have swore I played... I could have swore I played this game more than I actually have, but I keep getting all these achievements like it's the first time I've played it. So we have Leclerc in P1, Hamilton P2, Alonso in P3, Perez in P4, Verstappen, even though Verstappen started P3 or P4? 
P3 actually, yeah, he's down two positions. Verstappen started P3 behind us. He dropped all the way down to P5. Lance Stroll in P6. Signs Russell, 7 and 8. Norris and Gasly, 9 and 10. Then Ocon in P11. Alex Albon once again just missing out on points by a couple of positions. The two Haas cars, Yuki Tsunoda, Oscar Piastri, Logan Sargent, Valtteri Bottas, Nick DeVries, and Joe Guan Yu coming in last place again for like the fourth time out of our first five races. In the driver's standings, we're still sitting atop the driver's standings P1, adding on an extra nine points to our lead on Verstappen. And then Leclerc only four points behind Verstappen. Hey, we have an opportunity here to finish one, two, in the driver's standing so still early on in the uh, season and uh, Verstappen has yet to strap on his second set of engine components Perez down in P4 Alonso P5 Stroll P6 Russell signs Ocon and Gasly nothing much has changed and then actually nothing changed here nobody has changed positions in the top 10 then Lando Norris with an extra two points this race weekend Yuki Tsunoda P12, Alex, the best of the rest who haven't scored points yet. And his constructor standings, still pretty much exactly the same. Everybody holds their positions. We are now 42 points ahead of Red Bull, who is 46 points ahead of Aston Martin, who is fifth, 49 points ahead of Mercedes, who is, um, I don't know, I can't do that math quickly in my head 10 51 7 44 44 points ahead of alpine who is 14 ahead of mclaren and two ahead of alpha tower let's take a look at our pit stops we didn't even make the top 10 in the pit stops and we are now down one position what did we do four tenths off and two tenths off Hmm, maybe we need to stop giving our guys so much rest. They need to work on their pit stops. But we did save ourselves a cool $400,000 as Hamilton did not come in first place. Uh, yep, so Leclerc hit his 200k. We got the fastest lap. We hit the finish and uh, performance targets, finish position, reach Q3, and fastest lap, reach Q2, qualifying position. So we're coming home with $4 million, boys and girls. Looking good so far, about uh, close to a quarter of the way through the season. So that's it for Miami. I thought we weren't going to be performing well there, but like I said, Red Bull still have their original components on in the cars. Up next, we have Imola at uh, the Italian Grand Prix, or the San Marino Grand Prix, I think that's what it's called. Italian Grand Prix is Monza, but we're at Imola for the next round, and we are looking good now. 42 points ahead of Red Bull in the constructor standings and 14 points ahead of Max Verstappen. So, boys and girls, if you enjoyed that, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Remember, Ian Bok Choi, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.